Hello and good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Jules and today we are going to be doing a uh, live flow together on how to practice on and off the mat with contentment. For today's practice, all you're going to need is your yoga mat. If you like to use props, you're more than welcome to use them. Locks and straps are always welcome. Please make sure that before you do this practice, that you speak with your healthcare professional uh, before you start this or any practice. Make sure that you're listening to your body. Uh, you will probably see the cats uh, congregate around me because that's what they do when I practice yoga and they think I'm going to play with them on the, on the floor. And so don't mind them at all. Uh, and uh, enjoy this practice. All right, so I'm gonna have you come to a easy seated position. And bring the palms face up so that you are in a position to receive and to welcome feelings of contentment. What is contentment? Contentment is being okay it is being, um, it is being uh, happy with uh, where you are right in this moment. It's not being complacent. It's not about settling, but rather it's about looking at everything that you have right in this moment and having an innate feeling of gratitude with knowing that you are right where you need to be right in this very moment. So take a moment and close your eyes and allow yourself to settle in this feeling of contentment. Think about what you have. Think about what's around you and how fortunate you are to have that in your life in this very moment. I'm going to go ahead and let the eyes open. And on an inhale, sweep up and grab the contentment. And as you exhale, bring that contentment into heart center. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two more times, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands pull into heart center. Last time, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, take your left hand to your right knee and your right hand behind. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, ring up anything that is not allowing you to be in a place of contentment. A deep breath in, come back to center. Left, right hand to left knee, left hand behind. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rotate. Bring it out. You don't need it for this practice. That stress, that tension, it's not going to serve you. So let's let it go. Inhale, arms reach up, stretch and lengthen. Exhale, left hand goes down, right arm reaches up and over, stretch and lengthen. Reach through the fingers. Come back to center. Left arm reaches up, right hand comes down by your side, reach up and over. Stretch and lengthen. Good. Come back to center, arms reach up. Left hand goes down, right arm goes over. Try not to force it, be content right where you are. Think about how awesome it is that you are even able to reach as far as you are at this moment in time. Good, come back to center and up and over the other way. Again, root through the sit bone and lengthen from a place of foundation. Good, inhale, arms reach up, both arms reach up. Lift the heart and then fold forward, reaching the fingers out in front of you. Again, rooting through the sit bones and then reaching from a place of foundation and going to where it is your comfort. Let the head, neck and shoulders drop Release any tension from the upper back. 
and then slowly roll all the way up to sitting with the hands at the knees. Good, draw the navel to the spine, sit up really tall. Take the chin to the chest, lengthen the back of the neck. Inhale, come back to center. Right ear to right shoulder, left ear to left shoulder. Really great for the neck, especially when we spend a lot of time in front of the computer or in front of our phones. Our neck and shoulders get really, really tight. We tend to hold some stress and tension there, especially as we are visually taking in a lot of things, uh, especially on social media. Uh, come back to center, chin to chest. We tend to get, we may have the tendency to get wrapped up in everybody else's life and looking at what everybody else has, especially now that we've got some time on our hands and things are a little bit more idle. We may be likely to try to compare ourselves with others. And that comparison, as we learned yesterday, uh, takes away from our personal being of contentment. Go ahead, chin, to, chin lifts up to center. Shrug the shoulders up, notice what it feels like to hold on to the tension. And then exhale, big exhale, drop the shoulders away, release that tension. Go ahead, inhale, shoulders reach up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Big shoulder rolls. Roll the shoulders to the back. Good. Deep breath and get the arms moving here with this. Big circles. Moving through. Opening up the chest again. That sitting in front of the computer, maybe sitting on the couch in front of the phone. Our shoulders come in like this. We want to open that up. Open the heart. Open the chest. Relax the shoulders too. Last one. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Big heart opener. Big chest expansion. And release the fingers from behind the back and come on to tabletop. Knees under hips, hands under the shoulders, cat and cow. Take a deep breath in and let the belly lengthen towards the earth as you lift the heart up and tip the hips up. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest, navel to spine. Inhale, heart forward, belly lengthens. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest, navel to spine. Inhale, heart forward, cow. Exhale, cat, inhale, cow, exhale, cat. Good, sink the hips back into your child's pose, hips to heels, knees wide, toes touch. Bring the forehead to the earth and bring the focus and attention inward. Steady the breath. Find your personal breath rhythm. Everybody's breath is going to be a little bit different. So find what is working for you. And breathe into that space and breathe into that rhythm. And one more big deep breath in together. Exhale out completely, and then come up onto hands and knees. Tuck the toes and send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. You can keep the knees slightly bent here, and think about lengthening the spine as you let the crown of the head reach for the floor. And then, if you would like, you can slowly start to let the hamstrings lengthen, but keep the spine long. Don't worry what your downward dog looks like compared to mine. Just think about these cues. You're rooting down through the hands, right? The index finger and thumb are lengthening and pressing down. You're drawing the shoulders into your back pockets. You're broadening the shoulders and opening the chest towards the thighs. You're making a triangular-like shape with the body. Your knees can be as bent as they need to keep the hips moving up towards the sky. 
all ten toes are rooting down into the earth and the hamstrings are lengthening down. Good. Don't even look at my downward facing dog and try to compare it to yours. Don't worry about it. Just think about the cues. Hands and feet rooting, hamstrings long, shoulders broad, chest opening down and back towards the thighs. Good. Breathe one more deep breath here in your downward facing dog. And then slowly start to pedal the feet. Take a walk to the top of the mat. Take your time, no rush here. This first one, make it slow and meditative. Once you get to the top, bring the feet together. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. You can bring the hands to the shins if that helps to reach the heart out. Exhale, fold in. Slowly roll all the way up to stand one vertebrae at a time. And reach the arms up, inhale. Standing tall in mountain pose, hands at heart center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees and roll up to stand, one vertebrae at a time. Reach the arms up. Mountain pose, hands to heart center. One last time, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold, chest over thighs. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Good, inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, step your left foot back behind you, knee drops to the earth. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, hip flexor stretch. Good. The back foot is flat on the floor, you're pressing into the top of the foot, squeeze the inner thighs. Good, draw the ribs in, take the left arm forward and the right arm back, twist. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to the earth, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back behind you, lower the knee down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, right arm in front, left arm behind, twist. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to the earth, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back, high plank. Lower to your knees, do what feels right in your body. If you wanna tuck the toes and have full plank, go ahead. If it's better for you to have good form and be on the knees, please take that. Remember, this is your practice. Good. Shift the shoulders forward slightly of the fingers and lower down, hugging the elbows in all the way to the belly. Inhale, lift the chest, cobra. Press through the tops of the feet and thighs to lift the heart up. Exhale, tuck the toes. Press through hands and knees to downward facing dog. Inhale, hold. Exhale, Ooh, hold. Good. On your next inhale, your right leg sweeps up. Step the right foot forward between the hands and lower the back knee. Inhale, arms reach up, Anjane. Exhale, twist, left arm in front, right arm behind. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to the earth, tuck the back toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Left foot steps forward, knee down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, rotate, twist. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to the earth. Right foot meets left foot, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, slowly roll all the way up to stand. Inhale, hands to heart center, mountain pose. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, bow in. Step the left foot to the back of the mat, knee down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, twist. Open left arm front, right arm back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hips reach towards the back and over the left knee. Right toes flex, half splits. 
Inhale, lengthen the spine and fold in. Stretch the back of the leg. Micro bend in that front knee. Good. Wrap the right hip to the back. Flex the right toes towards your face. One more breath here. Shift the weight forward. Tuck the back toes. Lift the back leg. Bring the back foot to meet the front foot. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back. Knee down. Anjaneyasana. Reach the arms up and stretch. Exhale, twist. Right arm in front. Left arm behind. Inhale, arms reach up. Good. Exhale, hips go over the right knee. Left toes flex towards your face. Lengthen the left leg. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Breathe into the stretch. Don't judge the don't judge the stretch. Remember, we learned from day one, judgment interferes with our contentment. Shift forward, tuck the back toes, lift the back leg, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine one more time. Exhale, fold, step the left foot back behind, lower the knee, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, twist, left arm in front, right arm behind. Inhale, arms reach up, half splits, lengthen the right leg, fold towards the shin. Inhale, shift the weight forward, tuck the back toes, lift the back leg, runner's lunge. Good. Strong back leg, keep the left hand down, rotate, easy twist. Right hand down, right leg lengthens, extended pyramid, fold. Lunge into the right knee, back foot meets the front foot, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. Step the right foot back behind, knee lowers. Inhale, arms reach up, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, heart reaches forward. Exhale, fold over the thigh. Forehead towards chin. Inhale, walk the weight forward. Hands forward, tuck the back toes. Right hand stays on the earth. Strong right leg. Rotate to the left. Left hand comes to meet the earth. Back foot meets the front foot, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Slowly roll all the way up to stand. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step the left foot back behind. Keep the back knee up. Inhale, uh, um, crescent lunge. Good. If you need to put a slight bend in that back knee to help with feeling stable and secure, go ahead. And then as you feel the stability, go ahead and then lengthen the back leg long. Good. Arms reach up. Inhale. Exhale. Rotate. Twist. Left arm in front, right arm behind. Inhale. Arms reach up. Lengthen the front leg. Exhale. Pyramid. Inhale, lunge, arms sweep up, crescent lunge. Exhale, spin the back heel down, warrior two. With this warrior two, you just wanna make sure that the right knee is moving over the baby toes, it's not forward. You wanna squeeze the glute and wrap that outer thigh to the back, lining up the toes, root through the outer edge of the foot, Really squeezing those inner thighs towards each other like you're going to make a lump in the center of your mat. Good. Don't worry what your warrior two looks like compared to mine. Do not compare. Remember, what is comparison? It's the destroyer of contentment. Focus over the right middle finger. One more breath. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. 
exhale, pinwheel the hands to the floor, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold, step the right foot back behind. Strong back foot, strong back leg. Rise up, crescent lunge. Good, lengthen through the torso. Slight bend in that back knee to give you some stability. Twist from the waist, keep the hips moving forward. Right arm in front, left arm behind. Inhale, arms reach up, straighten the left leg. Exhale, fold, extended pyramid. Good, lunge into your left knee. Rise up, crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, spin the back heel down, warrior two. Good. You have a heel to arch alignment. Inner thighs are squeezing up and in. Tailbone is rooting down. Gaze is over the left middle fingers, keeping your focus and attention around you, but on yourself. Right, so you can notice the things that are going around, but try not to get caught up in them, right? Keep the focus about you. Where's your knee? Is your spine long? Is your chest open? Right? Good. Reverse your warrior. And exhale, pinwheel the hands to the earth. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, plant your hands, high plank. Hold plank here or at the knees, your choice. Exhale, shift the uh, shoulders slightly over the fingers and lower the chest and thighs to the earth. Inhale, cobra, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the toes, press your hands and knees if you'd like to downward facing dog. Look up between the hands and walk your feet to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Bend the knees and slowly roll up to stand. We're gonna do that flow one more time. Hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, step your left foot to the back of the mat. Strong back leg, rise up, crescent lunge. Good, rotate. Ring out, it's not going to serve you in that twist. Inhale, arms reach up, lengthen the front leg, fold, extended pyramid. Lunge, crescent lunge, reach your arms up. Strong back leg, spin the back heel down, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, pinwheel the hands to the earth, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, step the right foot to the back of the mat. Deep breath in, rise up, crescent lunge. Rotate, right arm in front, left arm behind. Hips stay facing the front of the mat. Reach both arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth as you lengthen the front leg forward. Fold over that leg, pyramid pose. Inhale, lunge, reach up, spin the back heel down, warrior two, reverse your warrior. Inhale, exhale, pinwheel your hands to the earth, forward fold. Last vinyasa, lift the chest and lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, plant the hands, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more breath here in downward facing dog. Look up between the hands, take a walk to the top of the mat, and then go ahead and have a seat. I'm gonna face the wide edge of the mat so that you can see, but you can face the long edge of the, uh, the front of the mat. Extend both legs out long. Sit up really tall. Take the hands behind you and roll the shoulders back, opening up to the chest. Move through the sit bones and lengthen through the crown of the head. Deep breath in, arms reach up. 
Exhale, fold forward. And take your depth. Don't worry about where I am. Just go to what is your place, remember? We talked about be content at where you are, knowing that this is not being complacent, that as you continue to practice and you move through your, your flow and you, you work through your own practice, whether it be on the mat or in life, that you will get further, you will be able to reach a little bit more. But it's, on, it's at your pace, it's on your time, not on anybody else's. When you try to keep up with other people's timelines, we lose that sense of contentment. Slowly come all the way up. Keep the left leg long, cross the right foot over the left. Take the right hand behind, left arm reaches up, and twist, seated twist. Now, if this is, you're not able to get the elbow to the outside of the knee, that's okay. Hug the knee into the chest, press the knee into the chest, chest into the knee, and then rotate. You're going to do what works for you. Eventually, maybe you'll be able to get the elbow to the other side. Come back to center. Lengthen the right leg, cross the left. Reach the right arm up, cross elbow to outside of knee, or hug the knee in towards the chest. Inhale, reach and lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, rotate. Good, come back to center. Soles of the feet together, bound angle. Sit up tall, press the knees towards the earth. If you need to sit up on a block or a bolster, please go ahead and do so. What that will do is it'll help to elevate the hips so that the knees can go below the hips and you'll get more space. Don't be ashamed to sit up on a block or a bolster. It's actually quite comfortable and it does help to increase the flexibility in the hips, so it will help you to progress. It will not hinder you if you're worried. Remember that we want to make sure that we're not getting caught up in the worry. We're not getting caught up in the what ifs. We are here. We are now. We are content. We are comfortable where we are in this moment, knowing that as we continue to practice, we will be able to reach our goals on our timeline. Lift the chest, exhale, fold in. Good. Use your hands to help the knees together. I'm going to turn to face the top of the mat. You don't have to move at all unless you were facing me. I'm going to lay on our backs, drawing the knees in to the chest and gently rock side to side, releasing any tension from the lower back, anything that's left in there. Just massage it out. And then take the legs up towards the sky and take the legs wide. Bend the knees and turn the feet out so that the heels are in and the toes are turned out. And grab the outsides of your feet or your ankles. What is more content than a happy baby? So you press the lower back down into the floor like you're squishing a grape between your mat and the lower back. And draw the knees towards the armpit. The eyes fall closed. Good. Release the feet. Draw the knees into the chest. Bring, bring your feet down to the floor. Turn and press yourself up to a seated position. Coming back to that cross leg position. Sit up really tall. 
bring the hands to the knees with the palms facing up and let the chin drop towards the heart. Take a moment to thank yourself for taking the time to practice yoga with me this morning and to reflect upon where you are on your journey to becoming more content and appreciating and seeing all that you have with gratitude. I look forward to our next practice together and I hope that you have a wonderful, content-filled day. Namaste.